All right. So picking up from where we left off, um, once again, I want to thank you all for joining us in the House of Instruction today. I'm Rabbi Sheikh Gidon, and this is Arabia, and we are going to continue with the reading of the law. Um, afterwards, um, we'll be going through a perspective and scope of the work, what we're building, um, what the buildings will look like so that you have some idea, um, which, you know, I think it's just fantastic because this way you could kind of gauge the differences. Um, I know, you know, the world is always turning. There's always something going on. But I want those of you who are working with us to be of assurance mm -hmm. because everything that they're doing is last ditch effort to stop what's already coming. I promise you that the world will not continue as it has been. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. And I can also promise you that, you know, a lot of things will come to an end. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of beliefs are about to be broken. Mm -hmm. A lot of false beliefs, a lot of different ideologies and ideas will also be broken. Um, so there's going to be um, a very difficult time for some people coming up in the near future. But we're going to proceed as if, you know, none of that's going on. Um, because what we are laying down here and moving forward with is the foundation of the future. This is not a sales pitch. This is not a, a, a hype meeting. This is in actuality. Um, so uh, I want to go, we're going to pick up now from verse 36. 36. And thou shalt make a curtain for the door of the tabernacle of hyacinth, purple and crimson, and fine linen twined, the work of the embroiderer. So it's an embroidered um, curtain. And thou shalt make for the curtains five pillars of sitta, cover them with gold, and their nails shall be of gold, and thou shalt cast them for them five bases of brass. And thou shalt make the altar of sitta, five cubits in length, and five cubits of breadth shall be square, and the altar and its height three cubits. And thou shalt make its horn upon its four corners, right? The horn shall be of it. So the, 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 the horn is part of the actual altar itself. Okay. And they shall raise upwards. So the horn of the altar, if you were to look at it, it points up. It doesn't curl. It doesn't curve in any way. It's just up. It does have a slope that goes in toward the center where the fire is. And thou shalt cover it with brass. So the whole thing is brass. There is a brass altar. Mm. And thou shalt make its pots to carry away its ashes and its shovels and its basins and its thuribles and all its vessels thou shalt make of brass. So... We're sitting here and you hear gold. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about that. You hear brass. Yes. And, you know, you hear all of these, the basins and thurbles and snuffers. The most high is like, I mean, he can't be any louder. Yes. About expressing the Bedouin culture. Mm. So we are, I'm here to tell you you're Bedouin. If you don't know what a Bedouin is, it's a indigenous Bedouin um, person is a culture. Bedouin is a culture. It's an indigenous person to this desert region. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, this desert region wasn't always just brown. So, it, it entered into a dry phase, and it does have a dry season. Mm -hmm. But there is a water table here, and there is water. Mm -hmm. So, people can live. People have survived for many millennia. But nobody's ever 
nurtured the land mm -hmm. properly because they don't have the instructions. Right. And if you think that these false uh, impostors called Jews are going to do it, you're sadly mistaken. They haven't done anything in 70 years mm -hmm. except for build Europe over here in the Middle East and be the launch pad for oppression and war. Mm. Now, they can feel how they want about it. I know they're probably watching, but I don't care. I don't have anything to cancel, mm -hmm. right? It, they, you know, you can do what you want. You can continue in, you, in how you're doing whatever it is you want to do. That doesn't change right. the truth. It doesn't change the outcome, mm -hmm. right? So these people, you know, even amongst themselves, they know that they're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to tell you right now, if you are the most powerful group and the wealthiest group of people on the planet, what do you need salvation from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to know. Like, what, what do you need a Messiah for? Messiahs deliver oppressed and poor people. They don't deliver rich, rich and empowered people mm -hmm. you see so you can have what you want you can believe what you want you can create the ideology that you want mm -hmm. but in the end the people of the book will remain the people of the book will be victorious mm -hmm. so you, you hear about all of these precious metals and things and these people traveling with this mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. It says, and thou shalt make a great, a great of network of brass. That's a grill. Yes. <laughs> this is a barbecue grill. Mm. You know, barbecue grills is something that we do. Yes. And we've been doing and yes. we still do to this day. Mm -hmm. Okay. The number one holiday for us is anytime we can have a cookout. Right. It's our nature. It's in our nature. This is a mm -hmm. cookout. So you, you don't know how to cook out. You don't know nothing about seasoning. Mm -hmm. You can copy how we season. You still ain't the original. Right. And that's why they try to take that over. You can, t you can in the listen, world. the one thing you, you're going to learn about this, right? This, mm -hmm. the, the one thing you're going to learn about this, uh, everybody having a human body is able to emulate what somebody else does, mm -hmm. right? So you can cook like, but you, you're still not the original. Right. You can, you can create like, but you're mm -hmm. not going to be the original. Mm -hmm. You cannot replace, right? You cannot replace something in someone that is lost. Right. Right? You cannot make somebody else adapt. If you look at the entirety of the Jewish culture, their culture is authentically European mm -hmm. and Germanic because mm -hmm. they are from Germany. And the religion, they created a religion to say, well, we're under this umbrella. But if you look here, there's nothing religious about this. Right. And it's not a bloody mess no. like they try to portray. Again, you, you hear about it and it does say blood and right. we do have to deal with it mm -hmm. but everything is food yes okay and the four rings of brass upon the four corners continuing in verse 4 of chapter 27 and thou shalt place it under the surroundings of the altar beneath that the network may be to the middle of the altar and if any fragment of fiery coal f fall from the altar, it may fall upon the grate and not touch the ground. And that the priest may take it from the grate and place it upon the altar. And thou shalt make staves of sitting wood and overlay them with brass. So here we have some more carrying staffs mm -hmm. and they are... Wood again of Acacia, mm -hmm. certain wood, and overlay with brass. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt place the staves within the rings, and the staves shall be on the two sides of the altar, and carrying the altar. Mm -hmm. Hollow with boards filled with dust shalt thou make it according to what is shown thee on the mount, so shall they make. Mm 
and thou shalt make the court of the tabernacle for the southern side shall be hangings of fine linen twine a hundred cubits the length for one side and twenty and its pillars twenty and there shall be foundations twenty right of brass the looks of the pillars and their rods of silver so now we have silver rods mm -hmm. right you got pillars and silver and you have the hanging curtains and it's the courtyard this is going around so they're using i notice uh, uh with the grill a lot of brass and a lot of silver is that because it being able to handle the heat from the fire is that the possibility it's a possibility but mm -hmm. i don't lying I, me personally i've learned in following instructions to the letter mm -hmm. it's nothing to read into lying you do it first right then you see what the benefits are mm -hmm. you'll never really get a full grasp of the benefits mm -hmm. trying to figure out before you complete it right right so you're receiving an instruction now from someone who's thinking is far above ours mm -hmm. how can we figure it out without mm. accomplishing the instruction mm -hmm. right this this way of doing things of trying to figure out what and why before we've done it has been a stumbling block mm. to us as a people for an exceeding amount of time mm -hmm. you see so it, it it keeps people trying to figure stuff out and it delays the necessary actions in a timely manner Right. So why do we have to do this? What is the need? Why is it necessary? All of those things keep you behind. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, your enemy, when he says we need to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we have to do this. And and everybody figures out for themselves like well, but we have to, because if we don't. You know, bad things will happen or, or, or things that we we don't want to see happen to us and our children won't be in place or in play. Mm -hmm. So we have to do less considering about the why it's this way and more of the accepting of what mm -hmm. is a certain and specific way. So if it says this is like this. All right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Put it together. Let's get it working. Mm -hmm. Then we'll see the benefit of why. Of why. Okay. Right. And this goes for the entirety of the law. Mm -hmm. Right. The benefit of the why is so important. Right. It's so important. We as a people, I am admitting you in all truth. We as a people have always questioned why we should do something. Mm -hmm. And after being promised a benefit for doing it and a curse for not doing it, we have always opted to see the curse. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So what, what does that tell you? It means you're asking why and then doubting the benefit and trying to do it another way. You're trying to circumvent the instruction. Mm. It's the same thing like anybody who has any additional books. Okay. And when I say additional books. So you have this New Testament book. Right. And it's trying to provide you with the way to circumvent the instruction given to the people directly. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, the most high change is not, but you're trying to find a way to add this in. Mm -hmm. But it's not for you. It literally says this to the Gentiles. Let it deceive them. Why are you trying to get something out of it? Because it appears easier for you. Mm -hmm. 
Right? It, 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 even if you're talking about the Quran, you go to the Quran, the Prophet Muhammad says directly in the Quran, children of Israel, stop. Turn now, return back to the law of Moses. Because mm -hmm. it's perfect. Because it is perfect. And like, so there is no book outside of our law that you, you we will need. If you are reading other books because the law or the book you are reading does not have the details, you're reading the wrong book. Hmm. You have to now search for a book that has the details, that has to spell out everything. The Most High is not fearful of man that he would hide anything because there's nothing we can do to stop his plan mm -hmm. there's nothing there's nothing to change what he has willed what he has um, ordained to be ordered to be mm -hmm. so you have to we as a people have to change that perspective we have to change that thought process mm -hmm. and Start saying, you know what? This brother is right. We do have to do this. Mm -hmm. And we do need to work with the book that has the details. Because mm -hmm. if your book doesn't have the details, there's no way for you to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here's a pure sign that white people who have gone everywhere to dig up everything are not the indigenous people because they're digging up stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't see no indigenous person nowhere digging up stuff to figure out what something was. Mm -hmm. Those stories are passed down from generation. If those stories were cut off, they were cut off by war and they were cut off by those people being killed off by invaders. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Think about it, mm -hmm. right? If you go and go go anywhere, the only people digging up dead people's bones, right, were the people who are not from this place and they don't know who these people are or what is here. That's why we're digging it up. Mm. You're digging it up to make an investigation. You're digging it up to find out. You are a foreign invader. Mm. Wow. That is so true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now you see Jewish people digging up everything, trying to say, look what we found and this proves this is us and this is this and we and blah. You'll never be the people. <laughs> You'll never be the people. Yes. Right? Because the first rule of the people is for them to take the forefront, the role, and to lead, and you to follow them. Mm -hmm. So you can't lead them, mm -hmm. and they can't follow you, mm -hmm. right? And that means that you have to go back to your land. You can't yes. keep this. Right. Now, you've had it in your possession for over 70 years, and now uh, enjoy Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Hold on to it as hard as you can, but you're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't change because it's already change. written. You're going to lose it. Right? Right. You're going to lose it sooner or later. The Zionists are about to get wiped smooth off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. not, not my words. You could take it up with the sponsor of this video, <laughs> yeah, Yah himself. Mm -hmm. So you can maybe try to delete him. Mm -hmm. You can curse him if you'd like. Mm -hmm. You can say what you want. It literally says this. Right. 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 And you've brought this curse upon yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's like the video we had watched where the Jewish man was speaking to the ancient Israelites. And, you know, after speaking with him, he recognized that they are the indigenous people. And they're not changing it. And they're not changing. They're not going to change. One, nobody is going to convert them to anything. They're going to 
They're, they're the way they are because they were made that way. Right. So, and, and they wanted to convert them. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's, and they said no. You're right. You may, you may, again, you'll always find some that'll try anything just to get any type of advantage. Mm-hmm. But um, that none of them are even significant in any way. Right. Right. You can have the rich. You can have the famous. They can all die with you. Yes. Right. Yeah. This doesn't change the law. Mm-hmm. OK. If you are mingling the two things, three things with the law, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Right. You cannot. The law only works with the culture and our culture is Muslim. Mm-hmm. That is a fact. Yes. OK. That is a fact. However, our holy books guide us in our way. Mm-hmm. It works together, right? Mm-hmm. The books given to Moses work together. They are together with the words of Prophet Muhammad the same way the words are together with the Prophet Laban. Mm-hmm. It works together. Mm-hmm. The, the prophets all come from this lineage from this bloodline from this family so whatever word is given it does work together together Mm. okay yes there's no religion involved there's no um divination there's no spooky pookies Mm. there's nothing there is only the instruction Mm -hmm. and because they have not yet applied it have not yet tried it. Mm-hmm. See, I've tried it for seven years. For seven years, I have traveled the world and then effectively tried to disprove the book. Mm. Trying to debunk it. So I traveled and I met the peoples and they said what was in the book without reading it. Hmm. This was a problem. When I traveled this book's paths and it's traveled its 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 it, the details, the locations, those locations were there, spot on. Hmm. It it changed my viewpoint of the world. The world is an entirely different place for me. Hmm. It's not the same. Hmm. Right? I know who stole the land. Right? I know who I know who the different peoples are. I know where the majorities of the populations are sitting. Even after all the wars and mix up and the pushing out and pushing down. Like we know. Mm-hmm. And now there's getting ready to be a great reversal. You can't stop yourselves from going to war. There's nothing you can do. Mm-hmm. How will your hands remain strong? Hmm. That's something to really consider and think about. You can't stop the war coming. Hmm. You can't stop the awakening of the original people. And you can't stop the purge that's coming to them from their God. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Mm. The only thing anyone can do at this point is try to make some measure of good for themselves by helping build this. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yes. Some measure of good by trying to help restore this in its proper order. I don't need 500 men. Mm-hmm. I don't need... Television cameras, I don't need anything. They can actually bl- ban and block my YouTube channel. Mm. It won't stop. The law. It won't stop this. Mm. Right? I've moved and walked by myself for over seven years. Mm. It doesn't stop. This will not stop. There's nothing anyone can do. Nothing. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen. Regardless. Regardless. 
Mm-hmm. We're all going to lose our people, yeah. regardless. The only thing you can do is save your own soul. If you think you could save somebody, try it. It doesn't work. There will be no superheroes in this time. Mm-hmm. So, they got 11. 11. And for the north side, the length of the hanging, 100 cubits long, so it's matching the other side. And the pillars, 20. And the foundations, 20 of brass. And the hooks of the pillars and their rods are silver. Mm. And for the breadth of the court on the western side, the hanging shall be 50, and the columns 10, and their foundations 10. And for the breadth of the eastern side, 50 cubits, and 15 cubits of the hangings on the side, their pillars 3, and their foundations 3. And for the door of the court shall be a veil, 10 cubits of hyacinth, purple and crimson and fine linen twine of embroidered work, their pillars four and their foundations four. So everything is coordinated, Mm -hmm. matching, Mm -hmm. beautiful, silver, gold, Mm -hmm. brass. This thing is the sight to behold. Yes. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bedouin tent. Mm. You know, why? Right. Let me ask you, because someone who may be reading from this text, like in verse fifteen, there's nothing written. Um, why is that? So you'll find because this is from an actual scroll, mm-hmm. where the lines are missing. Mm-hmm. Right? There's no words. Yes. To keep the purity and the accuracy, it is oh. missing. Okay. So, because this is from an actual ancient scroll, where it's missing, it's missing. Mm. We don't fill it in. Right. By law, you cannot add or diminish. Yes. So, since these are the scrolls from antiquity, and this part... Didn't have anything. Didn't have anything. It is a hole. You just leave it. Mm. You leave it. Right. Don't worry. I promise you the most I will fill it in later. Right. Because what happens is right now they're receiving the instructions to build it. Mm -hmm. There is a secondary instructions after they built it. Then you'll see another story when they actually move it and how they moved it. Mm -hmm. So now you have an accounting. You have three or four accounting of, of what is built, what is made, and what is Utilized, mm-hmm. so even though this one line is missing here, the redundancy it repeat in another place. Wow! So the entirety of the law is patterned that way. Mm. And for the door of the court shall be a veil of ten cubits of hyacinth, purple and crimson, and fine linen, twine and embroidered the work. Their pillars four, their foundations four, all the pillars of the court round about shall be united with silver rods and their hooks of silver and their foundations of brass. Mm. The length of the court, 100 cubits and the breadth 50 on the west and 50 on the east and the height of five cubits of five linen twined and their foundations of brass. All the vessels of the tabernacle in all its service and all the pins of the court round about of brass. And thou shalt instruct the sons of Israel to bring pure olive oil, Mm. beaten for illumination, that the lamps may burn continually. Wow. So he's telling, again, Moses, tell them to bring olive oil. Mm. Right? Now, a little precursor to what we'll be looking at, we're going to see a, a building mm-hmm. with a small olive grove. Mm. So we're going to have like small olive groves and we're going to start beating and refining and making our own olive oil, our own pickled olives. Mm. We will start growing our own food and vegetables on our land. Mm. So when it comes time for this to be done, we have it. Yes. 
we need to have everything necessary Mm -hmm. Right. And we need to be the producers of it. It must be the work of our hands Mm -hmm. to be presented to our. You know, hearing the instructions of the of us uh, bringing the olive oil and beating it, uh, you know, that's indigenous to this area. Yes, it's customary you yes. know of them making their own olive oil you go into the stores you will see the pickle olives and the olive oils and you know so it's like wow this this is our custom this is our culture mm-hmm. you know very identifiable it's very and, and you, it's because it's like I said you're not going to get away from the family right right Mm-hmm. If you're an Ishmaelite, you're going to have the same customs as Abraham. If, if, if you're the seed of Isaac, you're also going to have the same customs of Abraham. Mm-hmm. Unless you went and moved to another country for an extended period of time. Mm-hmm. So if you move to America, you get Americanized. Mm-hmm. If you move to Africa, you get Africanized. If you move to Europe, you get Europeanized, Mm -hmm. right? Only Europeans have the idea of going somewhere and making it conform Mm -hmm. to their culture, like their culture is vastly superior. Wow. And it is the worst, this is the worst cultural time in all, with all of mankind. Mm -hmm. It is the most egregious culture, the most abominable culture, okay? Mm-hmm. You have the most deplorable things. People are destroying the earth, right? Mm-hmm. They're poisoning people. I mean, ruthlessly. Mm-hmm. This is ruthless. They, they, they don't care about anything except to make wealth and to hoard it, mm-hmm. this is egregious. This is absolutely disgusting. The, the doctors don't work on cures. They only pad um, symptoms, right? The teachers are so drowned in books, they can't, they can't see their way out of their own problems trying to find the truth. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting here with one book, right? I'm the master of only one book, this one. Mm-hmm. And you know what's so sad as you're making these points, we have adopted all of it. All of it. As a people. As a people. Right? And 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 we are we become allergic mm-hmm. to those who speak a whole and pure truth. Mm-hmm. You've become allergic to it. You, mm-hmm. it. It must be tainted with a part that you believe to still be true or something that you think still might be good. I'm not that person. Mm-hmm. I have to give you a pure truth. You have to accept it. It's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. We're going to move forward. Mm-hmm. We're going to heal. We're going to rip off the wound. We're going to clean it, and we're going to deal with it. So I'm continue reading this law. So we have the uh, hanging of the door, the length of the court, and instructing them to be oils. In the tabernacle of the covenant, without the veil, that is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall set it in order from evening until morning before Yah, an everlasting statue mm. to your generations of the house of Israel. So since it has to be blood, Aaron and his sons, there's no way these Europeans are going to build anything. If they wanted to build a temple, they had 70 years to build it, they would have built it. They're not building nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay? They don't know how to build it. Hmm. There's no way for them to build it. 
Mm. They don't have the blood. They don't have nothing. If they want to try it, try it. I don't care. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't care. And only Aaron and his sons. Yeah, right. Can, and these uh, are all black up. people. Yeah. So if only Aaron's and his sons can set it up, go ahead. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? And even with our own, y- Yehuda can't build can, this. Can, can, no. <laughs> no. It has to be it. built by 12 tribes, not one. So, mm-hmm. again, you, you, there's no way for you to fulfill any of this instruction. The only thing you're going to now do is disprove yourself. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Yeah. Cut yourself. Cut the cut the heifers. Sprinkle everything with 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 he, with heifer water. And red heifers always been around. They've been around. You just <laughs> trying to sum it up now because you you're kind of realizing we're at the end game. Mm-hmm. The, the black people are waking up. The world has gotten stronger and has turned against you again. Mm-hmm. And there's no way out. Mm. So you, you, you've reached your end game. You have to pull all the strings and try. So try. And thou bring near to thee Aaron thy brother and his sons with him from among the sons of Israel to minister before me Aaron, the Dab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, the sons of Aaron. And thou shalt make garments of holiness for Aaron, thy brother, and for glory and for praise. And thou shalt speak with all who are wise of heart and whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom that they may make vestments of Aaron to consecrate him to minister before me. Mm-hmm. And these are the vestments they shall make, the breastplate and ephoda and the robe and the embroidered tunics, the metries and girdles, and they shall make the holy garments for Aaron thy brother and for his sons to minister before me. So he didn't tell them get no mink hats. Mm-mm. You know the big box mink hats. Uh, yeah. From. Yeah, I remember. He, he didn't say get those. No. Oh, he said a meat tree. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they sh- robes. And, and, and right. <laughs> And, and, they sh- <laughs> and they shall take from their treasures gold and hyacinth and purple and crimson and fine linen. And they shall make the ephod of hyacinth and purple and crimson and fine linen twined the work of the artificer. Two shoulder pieces shall have it conjoined to its two sides and so it shall be united. And the ornament girdle which is to be upon it shall be of the same work of gold, hyacinth, purple, and crimson, and fine twined linen shall it be. And thou shalt take two onyx gems and engrave upon them the names of the sons of Israel. Six of their names shall be engraven upon one gem and six remaining upon the second gem. They shall be set in order of their nativity. The engraved gems shall be the work of the artificer engraven and the engraving be distinct as the engraving of a ring. And thou shalt engrave the two gems according to the names of the sons of Israel in their work round about. In set in gold shalt thou make them, and thou shalt fix the two gems upon the shoulders of the ephod, and to be set for a memorial of righteousness for the sons of Israel. And Aaron shall bear the names of the sons of Israel upon his shoulder for a, mor- a memorial. And thou shalt make sockets of gold, and two chains of pure gold measured shalt thou make them of twisted work, and insert the twisted chains in the sockets, and thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment Mm. by which are made known the judgments that are hidden from the judges and the Mm. order of the victories of their battles and amend that are made for the judges. Mm. The work of the artificer as the work of the ephod and make it of gold, hyacinth, purple, and crimson, and fine linen twine, thou shalt make it. Square shall it be doubled, and a span its length, and a span its breadth. So we're talking about something that is a span, mm-hmm. and a span square, a span, and a span square. 
Mm. So it's a breastplate. So you're lying at the Maya is a breastplate. Mm. It's here. It's on the chest. Mm. The ephod sits here. It is a girdle. It sits over the stomach. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go ahead. Try it. Do it. <laughs> Go ahead. If you, if you even have an idea of where the Ark of the Covenant is, Go get it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Go get it. Pull it out. You've deceived yourself into being so much to people. Pull it out. Enjoy the plagues. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you cannot replace the real thing. The most I never changed. Mm-hmm. Now he's against you. Mm-hmm. You bring a curse upon yourself yeah, no, by touching it. <laughs> see, he allowed you to have this to prove to you that you would be wicked and you would not fulfill his word, word. that his people come and do what he said to do. Mm-hmm. So now you've had the opportunity, you've proved it. Mm-hmm. Right? You have the land. He said you would have it for 70 years. You've had it for 70 years. Hmm. You still won't. Right. You actually believe the lie that your fathers told you, mm-hmm. and you've been deceived. Mm. And thou shalt fill the ephod with fullness of precious stones, four rows of precious gems answering to the four regions of the world. Mm. The first row, carnalian, topaz, and carbuncle, and on them shall be engraven and expressed the names of Reuben, Shimeon, and Livy. And the name of the second row, Samog, Sapphire, and Chalcedony. And upon them shall be engraven and expressed the names of three tribes, Yehuda, Dan, and Naphtali. And upon the third row, Ligur, Agate, and Amethyst. And upon them shall be written and expressed the names of three tribes, Gad, Asher, and Nisakad. And upon the fourth row, Chrysolite, Onyx, and Jasper. And upon them shall be written the names of Zebulun, Yosef, and Benjamin. Set in gold, up shall they be in their completeness. So if you notice, this breastplate is different from the priest's breastplate. Mm. Right, the regular priests, their yes. girdles. Yes, it is. So this one have the names of the fathers, mm-hmm. the twelve fathers. Mm-hmm. Period. Right. The other one, you won't see levy on on it. On it. Mm. So only the high priest one have the one with le- with levy on it. The regular priests don't have levy. Mm. Levi is removed. Joseph is also removed and divided into two. Mm. And the Jews shall be taken according to the names of the sons of Israel. Twelve are they according to their names engraven and set forth as the engraving of a ring. The gem for each man according to his name. So shall they be for the twelve tribes. Mm. All right, we're going to stop here today. And we're going to come back and we're going to do the um, perspective. Hey, all right. So right now we're getting ready to get into our perspective. So I want to give one a great big thank you. Alhamdulillah to the most high because of all of his support. I mean, if he hadn't really pulled some strings and made some things happen, I mean, there will be no way. Mm. But we have a way and it is happening and materializing for us in this land at this time. And that is just amazing. So we're going to get some perspective now. We're going to look at some of the buildings and the plans. Um, I went out with the engineer, Hollett, and he took me to a couple of projects um, that, you know, he is familiar with. And we went out and he pointed them out and I went and took some pictures. Now, there are even more beautiful designs than these. Yes. But just to give you a basic idea Mm -hmm. Because, you know, once we have the funding, then we can allocate our budgets accordingly. Mm 
-hmm. and according to what materials are available. Um, and the beautiful part of being in a recession is if you got the money ready and available, mm -hmm. you can get better stuff for cheaper. Yes. And yes. that's just great because we want to have the budget. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even in a recession, uh, mm -hmm. there ain't no budget on food. Right. <laughs> so the first building we see here, we're going to look at the um, building with the dominoes. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the entirety of the bottom floor is a store. Um, and above the store, those windows <laughs> are offices slash storage spaces. Mm -hmm. So they can be office spaces or they can also be storage spaces for the store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, our first building will have a supermarket in it. Mm -hmm. And that supermarket is going to employ and feed the members of the community simultaneously. Right. Right. So we're going to keep ourselves employed and keep ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're not going to come in and just buy the building and sit back like, you know. We've arrived. Like we've arrived. <laughs> we are still building. Yes. Just from one building, we have a lot to do. We have to prepare for thousands of people. Mm -hmm. So one building ain't going to cut it. But right. as you can see with this door, this is the back mm -hmm. of the building. Right. So we put the back of the building to the street side and for business. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's four floors mm -hmm. and each unit has air conditioning. Yes. So every home has an air conditioner. It's um, similar on the front side right. for this particular building. Now, I want us to pay attention because this has other designs. So we're going to now look at the uh, the home center building, the Dwake home center building. This has three floors. As you can see, it's beautifully designed, very modern. Mm -hmm. You know, they have the balconies you can go out on. And the AC units are on the sides of the building okay. rather than, you know, on the street side, giving it a more aesthetic. And as you can see, it's a larger store. Right. Right. So they extended the store out to the side to give it storage space mm -hmm. rather than putting it on top of the store. So you, we can extend out right. sideways. Right. And this is a beautiful, as you can see, another project with a whole bottom. First floor is a business. And that business helps to offset the cost and the funding Mm -hmm. for future projects because you are now within a revenue stream. You are right. making money and the business is making money and it yes. compounds. Yes. All right. Now we're going to come up next and we have a the Grove. Yes, Olive Grove. So the Olive Grove, this is a very small Olive Grove. Yes, But this is. Olive Grove will produce a few gallons. Mm -hmm. And when I say gallons, I mean like from uh, one or two trees, you can get about five gallons of oil. Mm. So this will produce a few gallons, like, mm -hmm. you know, at least 20, 30 gallons of olive oil when pressed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's if you want to press the whole field. But this is a small grove. And as you can see, there is a house in the back. I want you to take note in the back of this house, there is solar panels. Solar panels. Yes. So we can offset electrical costs and keep our costs down. Solar panels are available. Next, we are looking at a gated building. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is another design possibility where you can have a court. Mm -hmm. um, this particular design, we are looking forward for the actual house of instruction mm -hmm. for it to have a courtyard. So it will be patterned after mm -hmm. the tabernacle, which Moses built. So the entire um, community complex will be patterned the same. Mm -hmm. There will be a similitude to it to get us as a people familiar with that pattern of movement with right. seeing right. that type of thing. Now, this has um, a few floors to it. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be a few floors because we're going to use it at this time for education. Right. Okay. Right. Education, meetings, um, and, you know, maybe some leadership housing. Yes. Here. Yes. It'll be in a centralized location and we can speak to the community from here. Mm -hmm. And you can see the water. Um, the water towers on top. Uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, do you have the water towers on top? Um, some buildings have um, the um, 5G antennas. We won't um, put them um, on top of housing unless absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. Because we, we do want everyone to have communication. So we have to facilitate it. It just depends on the location of the community. Mm -hmm. And hopefully a neighbor nearby does it so we don't have to. Yeah. Right. Um, but we will, if we, if need be, put towers. Mm -hmm. um, to put a tower on a building. Mm -hmm. Next, we come to um, what we call the 69 building. But... <laughs> Um, it's built by Kaisi, and this is the front. So this is to give you an idea of what the front side of a building looks like. Right. So, of course, the buildings have elevators. Um, we're making sure we pay attention for um, elderly and handicapped accessibilities. And as you could see, it's beautifully designed, a wonderful motif. Um, as contrasting to the backside where we're doing a lot of business right. on right. the street side. Mm -hmm. But this is a residential side. This is a uh, just a, a neighborhood street, but we will have a court. Mm -hmm. a, there will be a courtyard, a field and courtyard area for our community mm -hmm. um, to enjoy. Yes. To sit outside and to discuss and to gather and mm -hmm. to to have festivals and such so that we are self-contained. And mm -hmm. so when our community is closed, our community is closed. Right. Right. So it's our land. It's our stores. It's our business mm -hmm. within our community. It's within our control. So when we have holiday, we have day off. It's our holiday. It's our day off. Mm -hmm. We run things according to us. And this is why we have to join together and buy. Mm -hmm. um, some of you might be noticing now that um, you're seeing a new post every day. Yes. Right. So I'm moving from two times a week. And now we're going to now be more consistent um, with our videos and you'll get a new video every day. Mm -hmm. So this is the perspective. So you guys have an idea. Mm -hmm. There is another photo here um, and you're going you guys are going to see it on screen. Um, and this is of a beautiful white building. It is not yet finished, but this building is a building focused on housing only. And this is one of our plants. And so, as you can see, the beautiful the building is a beautiful white marble stone. Right. And you see it's beautiful um, open window plan and it's so many floors. And we can able to house people. So we, we're focused on housing people and businesses simultaneously mm -hmm. because we have to employ the people who come. Mm -hmm. We're working ourselves, yes. right? If mm -hmm. you're working in the administration, this is not a vacation. We mm -hmm. are adamantly working yes. ourselves. Things have to be maintained. Things have to be kept clean. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a standard of cleanliness that must be kept and maintained. And there's a standard of maintenance that will be kept and maintained. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a, a an adjustment to life and the culture here that people will go through. Um, another uh in one of the buildings, what I was thinking about, like in the Domino's building, yes, is like you know making that storage floor because mm -hmm. we have um, another building. As a matter of fact, we'll pull that up on screen. Um, the building here that has all the shops and stores, right? So we'll put it up on screen. But there was another building 
that had a bunch of shops and stores. And yes. so we will have um, a building with smaller shops. Right. For our boutique people, you know, say you're making clothes, uh, makeup, um, anything. Yes. You know, any small little business idea, print shops mm-hmm. um, to print our own uh, uh, books, publications, uh, mm-hmm. stories, educational materials. Right. We, we, we will have a print shop. We need to have our own Mm-hmm. Everything, mm-hmm. and of course, things will grow because as we begin to outsource and handle more and more jobs and more and more materials, we will need more and more space. Mm-hmm. So we'll grow into buying warehouses. We'll grow into having more land for livestock. Um, we'll have fields for vegetables and herbs and and various spices, mm-hmm. so that we will have a full. Right. A full repertoire mm-hmm. of, of 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 healthy cuisine within yes. our community. Mm-hmm. Um, cooking is a big part, and we, we're going to stay and keep out of our community unlawful cooking. So we'll have our own restaurants. Yes, right. I have our own restaurants and our own. Uh, um, you have our own restaurants and our own. Dining facilities so that even when we're dining corporately as a group that, you know, we have everything, everything that we need. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's uh, readily available to the community for our events. Mm -hmm. So somebody's having a wedding. We have the space for our own weddings Mm -hmm. and our own events, um, uh, social events, which is aside from any any um, law commanded days. Mm-hmm. So social events, you know, so-and-so's having a baby. We want to mm-hmm. celebrate and, and uh, the, the, the life of this new child. And we want to right. have the circumcisions and stuff like that. So right, right. we definitely want to have all of these things um, prepared for everyone, you know. Mm-hmm. So these are things that we have to prepare for. Right. So we have to prepare for um, sound systems and mm-hmm. and uh, AC uh, units. And well, the AC units, sound systems, systems. Um, equipment for bands. Right. Um, you know, just, just all the entirety of social development and cultural aspects. Um, mm-hmm. There has to be a facilitation of it. Yes. Right? I know people like to think about, you know, the creative sides and the artistic sides, mm-hmm. but there's a logistical side as well. Yes. Um, because the same equipment will be used not only for celebrations, but for large speaking gatherings. You will right. need the sound system as well yes. to talk to the people. Um, you know, uh, and there's, you know, prayer spaces. Mm-hmm. We, we do have a corporate prayer, um, and it does happen throughout the day. Mm-hmm. It is, you know, open and available, and w- there'll be a call to prayer mm-hmm. regularly. Um, and we have to train, the retrain the Levites to get back into their service. Yes. You know, we know that some of them come and they will be having some of the culture and traditions, but all of those have to be refined by the law mm-hmm. and then it has to be applied. Yes. So we'll be doing all of these things and I'm so grateful that we're making so much progress in so little time. Mm-hmm. Um, so Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And that's our perspective for today. Next, you guys are going to see um, the whiteboard explainer. So that's also coming up. So we're just making great headway here. Yes, we are. Um, and our pro- our project is growing rapidly, rapidly, rapidly. So yes, <laughs> keep keep sharing, keep talking, and uh, prepare yourself because uh, you want this done before anything happens. Hell break loose. And I mean, <laughs> you you would. That's what I would like, but. Yeah. In all honesty, in all truthfulness, nine times out of ten, this will really shine inside of the storm. Yes, it will. Because then people will say, 
we have to get over here. We have to do this. Right. We'll send what we need. And I know the storm's coming. So yes. we're just yes. preparing. We're already ready. We're, we're ahead so that those who get the message get it, and they do, and I know they will do. Right. And, and those who get it will come, and it will be ready. Yes. Because uh, the storm is coming, and now we, we, we have now our safe place. Yes, we do. Right. If you can't have gold, mm-hmm. then you better have food. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Right. Yes. We can't buy gold and silver and all of this stuff in great quantity. There's, there's not a, any way to really get it. But we can grow. But we can grow food. Yes. And through food, we can get gold. Gold. That's right. <laughs> food keeps growing back. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. So gold you have to find. Food, it sits right there. Yes. Great commodity. So we're going to do the same thing Joseph did because we're ready for the famine now. I'm ready for the storm. So yes. you guys are going to go through it and we're going to grow through it. That's yes. it. Go yes. through it and grow, grow through, through it. it. <laughs> All right. So that's our time for today. I'll see you all tomorrow.